Here for you, the news leader, Fox 4. Police records detail the arrest of a Fort Worth police officer for an off-duty shooting. Officer William Martin is accused of shooting another driver. Martin says that driver hit his personal vehicle and was behaving dangerously. But the other driver told police Martin was the aggressor and never identified himself as a police officer. Officer William Martin was previously involved in another high-profile police incident. Before he went out on the shooting call tonight in Fort Worth, Fox 4's David Centrin put together this story. Off-duty Fort Worth police officer William Martin left work in his Honda Accord on September 3rd when he says he was hit by a Ford F-150 driven by Samuel Christopher. Martin claims Christopher tried to flee, so he called 911 and began following him. According to an arrest warrant affidavit, however, Christopher told detectives he was not aware of a collision, but noticed Martin was following him very closely. And every time he changed lanes, Martin also changed lanes behind him. Christopher tried to get away, but Martin sped up and passed him, pulled his vehicle in front of Christopher's truck, and suddenly stopped, causing Christopher to rear-end Martin. Then the report says Martin exited his vehicle with a handgun and pointed it at Christopher. Fearing for his life, Christopher began to drive away, but Martin fired three shots, striking him. Christopher then drove away and was again followed by Martin until on-duty officers arrived and stopped him. I mean, that's road rage right here and anywhere in the United States. Alex Del Carmen is Associate Dean of Criminology at Tarleton State University. And clearly, if this affidavit is representing the truth, uh, we have a police officer that decided that he was above the law, and that is unacceptable. Martin's legal team told us the officer was trying to protect the public from a dangerous driver. In a sworn statement to police, Martin claims he boxed Christopher in while following him, but says Christopher's truck rammed his car. Martin says he got out of his vehicle, pointed his gun at the truck, and demanded that the driver get out. When he heard the truck's engine rev and move forward, he opened fire, believing that Christopher was going to run him over. Detectives interviewed 14 witnesses who saw the shooting. Shooting. According to the arrest affidavit, all witnesses stated that Martin was not in danger of being struck by Christopher's vehicle. Is that there are witnesses that actually support the claim that is made by the alleged victim. Martin's legal team also claims police were motivated to arrest their client by a 2016 incident captured on video that attracted national attention. Martin was accused of using excessive force while arresting Jacqueline Craig and her daughter after Craig called police to complain about her neighbor. Martin served a 10-day suspension, and the city ended up settling a civil rights lawsuit with the Craig family for $150,000. As for the current investigation of Martin's off-duty shooting, police say he is on what's called detached duty while Internal Affairs investigates. The victim's attorneys have scheduled a press conference of their own for tomorrow morning.